In this shloka, Bhagavan says that the Maya is divine, baby, and that it is his Maya, Mama Maya. When I heard that the Maya was divine, I became confused. Before, I was thinking that Maya was there only to turn truth into lies and lies into truth. This is only one aspect of Maya. Let's look at the other aspects of Maya. True story. During Dwapata Yuga, to come on earth as an avatar, the Lord uses Yoga Maya. Oh. He came on earth as Krishna. Mm -hmm. First, he asked Maya to take the seventh baby that was in Devaki swamp mm. and to transfer it into Rohini swamp. Oh. That way the baby could not be killed by evil comes. Mm. The baby was born as Balarama, mm. an avatar of Shisha mm. and the brother of Krishna. Mm. Then Vishnu's Yoga Maya mm. was born as a baby girl mm. in the house of Nanda and Yashoda. At mm. the same moment, the eighth child of Devaki mm. and Vasudeva Krishna took birth. Mm. To protect Krishna from Kamsa, the Lord asked Vasudeva mm. to cross the river Yamuna mm. to bring Krishna to Gokul mm. and to exchange the two babies. Mm. The Lord also used this, my, this yoga maya mm. to make the guards of the prison fall mm. miraculously asleep mm. and to open the doors of the prison. Mm. Mm. Om Vishnu Maya Namaha Thanks to his maya, Krishna could come on earth among human beings to help them remember him whatever they did. Amma also uses her maya to be with us. She wears veils because if she were showing her real form, we would be afraid. Like Arjuna when he saw Krishna's cosmic form. When I was younger, when I was younger, I loved Amma very much. But I was very impressed by her physical presence. I could not even go to Darshan alone without crying. Imagine how it would have been without veils. <laughs> but the much smile, her beautiful ornaments, by the Pujas, use this present, all those divine lilas created by the power of Maya helped me to feel confident. Mm. So the Maya helps us to stay with the girl. We will need less and less veils if we make more steps on the spiritual path. Om Maya Namaha, Om Maha Maya Namaha. Sometimes I have desires. For example, one day I had a desire for a frog toy. <laughs> Guess what happened? Somebody brought the frog toy for me to my father. The magic is that this person didn't know that I wanted a frog. But Amma with her Maya asked him to bring me a frog. Oh. <laughs> Another day I wanted a picture of Amma feeding elephants. And guess what happened? The same thing. <coughs> Somebody 
brought me this without me asking. Those incidents are a proof that a man knows everything. Then, <laughs> thanks to Maya, my love for Ama grows bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so the Maya helps us to develop faith in the girl. Sometimes when I don't have what I want, it's like a test from God to see how I will react. Sometimes I immediately accept the situation or forgive the person, but sometimes I get angry out of selfishness or frustration. <laughs> so the Maya helps us to see our negativities and to grow. Ama tells us to see only good in others, never ever bad in them. She also tells us that Maya is there only to remove the devotee's ego. <laughs> so the Maya helps us to stay with the girl, to develop faith in the girl and to see our negativities and to grow. We just have to be careful to not be attached to the impermanent things given by Maya. The Ryodhana wanted the army of Krishna, not Krishna himself, and so he didn't win the war and lost it. On the contrary, Arjuna wanted only Krishna, not something from Krishna. So he didn't lost the war, he won the war. <laughs> That's why we will understand that Amma is not limited to her body, that she is everywhere, and that she is always with us and see her everywhere. Amma, I pray that you prevent me from being attached to the impermanent things given by Maya and to the Maya of the world. I want to love you selflessly just because of your love that you give us, not because of the toys that you give us. I 
want to dress as the booty. Ooh. I am very attached to my birth mother. So, as your divine mother, I would like to be more attached to you than to her. <laughs> My mother is beautiful flower in Nama's garden, but she won't be able to give me the nectar of <coughs> immortality. Ooh. Then she merges with you. Only you can give me this nectar of immortality. As this, I would like to be a bee drinking the nectar of your heart. I offer these words at Amma's lotus feet. Om Amsiteshwati Yenamaha. Oh.